Hey, thanks for joining me today on Trail Talks in Tahali. Today, uh, I'm kind of excited to talk to, to Jerry and Kim, two good neighbors of ours, good friends that uh, have lived in Trilogy for, Trilogy for quite a while. And I wanted to talk to them so they can give you uh, some insights to what uh, their experience has been like moving uh, to Trilogy. And uh, hope you enjoy. Well, I'm here with Kim and Jerry. They're uh, residents here in Trilogy. They've been here uh, geez, since when? We moved in uh, March 2014. Okay. Yes. And so over seven years. And, and where'd you move from? We moved from uh, Boulder Creek, California, near Santa Cruz. Okay. And and what made you decide <laughs> <laughs> to make this this trek up to? Uh, uh, well, uh, our Lake. son was relocating from Dallas. Oh, okay. While he was looking for properties, he said, Hey, Mom, you should try, you should look into this. Nobody knew how to say it. Tahali. Tahali Tamali. We did a whole video on that. They, uh, they have uh, <laughs> plus 55 things going on down there. An active adult plus 55. Right. Community. So we looked at oh. it online. And, um, you know, it looked interesting. We already we picked a the model. Then we came up here. And uh, we just came and sort it out. I think we showed up at 10.30 on a Friday, and by 12.30 we had signed a contract. That's how fast it works, right? <laughs> yeah, I but mean... the, the interesting thing is three years later, my son moved. And then he took so now our, you're stuck. He took our granddaughters with him. <laughs> he with him. He's, in, he's in outside of Denver now. So. But we're still here. We love the lifestyle. Fantastic. And, and so when you first came here, I mean, was the clubhouse even? No, no, the clubhouse was a dream, right? <laughs> it was a promise. Uh, so what was here when you first moved? There were about 65 homes okay. in, uh, in our little area, and that was it. First of all, we came up, we had to come up, we came up twice because we were down in California, couldn't come up and watch the build. And we had to come up and select options. And the weekend we came up, there was a couple that had moved in recently, so they had a welcome party for the neighborhood, and we okay. all fit in a house. Back then, everybody <laughs> the could show up, the whole house. neighborhood could fit into one house, right. <laughs> and what did you like most about the place as soon as you, when you got here? Was it what they, what you thought it was? Well, I, I think coming from an area in, in which we really had no community, uh, we sort of didn't know what to expect. Right. And what we found very early on uh, in our small neighborhood that still exists today in individual neighborhoods was a problem in that if you wanted to go for a walk, you couldn't walk more than five minutes without being stopped by a neighbor for conversation. <laughs> I think it's the nature of the development that people who move in around the same time really do yes. really do create yeah. a, a closeness uh, and back then because there wasn't a clubhouse we did things you know together as a group we had a we had a what was it uh, s'mores roasting party up where the entry into the pond is now okay before the you know somebody brought a, a, a propane tank and heated up a grill and There's we made, we made some more, right right what and, was interesting about that is that at that party there was a couple who moved into the Tahali neighborhood. Okay. And they sort of showed up and crashed the party and later moved down here. <laughs> I, th I think, you know, I liken it to when you were six years old and you'd go and knock on somebody's door and you'd say, you want to come out and play? Yeah. <laughs> and that's kind of what it's like. I, we had no idea what it would be like. When you live in a multi-generational neighborhood, right. you're, you, be, you become friends with the kids parents kids are the right. are the glue that hold friendships together so without the kids here it's totally different you know you're out seeking the relationships and you can yep. do as much as you want or as little as you want i, I you know we walk the trails a lot mm -hmm. and uh when i first got here i'm walking the trails and i run into people just like you said and then the first question i get is where's your dog oh. <laughs> so it's like so we wouldn't got a dog actually uh <laughs> we, we so we have one now and uh what's funny now is that you learn the dog's name before you, you learn the neighbor's Neighbor name. Exactly you recognize right. the dog because you know it's 55 and older so mm -hmm. you got to forgive us if we don't know everybody's name. Well I'm getting to the point where I'm recognizing people's walk <laughs> which is a little dangerous. I've been here too long. The interesting thing, one interesting thing about being yep. here before the clubhouse, yes. the HOA asked us to form a social committee uh, and Jerry was right. officially on the committee and I was like an auxiliary member. 
because they yep. didn't want spouses together on the committee. And there were about eight of us. We're still friends. We've traveled yep. to Portugal <laughs> together. Yep. But the interesting thing is they gave us a budget and we had great parties. We had Christmas parties. I think we had two of them eventually. We had a summer, okay. midsummer party. We had off a Lou How offsite. Okay. I mean, it was wonderful. And, and the eight of us are still friendly. One of the couples lived in Portugal for three years and put together a itinerary, a three week itinerary. Okay. And there were 12 of us, I think, all together. Oh, that nice. went. And we're still, we were still friends after three weeks. So that was. The clubhouse opened in December of, fifth, of uh, 15. Yeah. And the first thing they did was have a New Year's Eve party. Okay. And we all danced in what is now the, the, the restaurant. That was fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the clubhouse is great. You can do as many things or not. I'm, I'm a big user of the fitness facilities. Yes. Uh, we love that. You know, and Jerry, you know, likes to swim. I mean, it's just a wonderful place. You could do as much or as little as you want. Right. That's the key thing. Right. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Thanks. Yeah. But Tim we, is a member of the Welcome Committee. I'm a member yeah. of the Welcome Committee. Okay. So right. we go around and visit new residents and get them up to speed on a few information things and yeah. that kind of thing. And the Welcome Committee does a great job of yeah. making sure you understand all the the uh, ins and outs of the HOA. That's right. That's and, right. And the community itself. Right, exactly. Nice. Yeah. I think another thing that impressed us, and of course it's really builder dependent, is that every new house is going to have some little issues in one way or another. Right. It's just the nature of, of, of the experience. What we found was that for us, at least, um, everything that was a, an issue, and they were all minor, were, were addressed very quickly. Right. So we didn't uh, we didn't have to stew over anything. Things are built by humans, okay? They, right. they, they, right. they can make an error. At least for now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't, can't even keep track with all the models. They don't even make ours anymore. No, so. I was just talking to Brianne down at Shea Homes. Shea Homes is actually the largest builder here. Uh -huh. And uh, they build all these homes here in Trilogy right, right. and across the country. Right. And uh, I was saying, you know, why do you guys keep changing? It works. And she said, well, you know what? They just evolved. That's right. uh, you know, needs change, right. designs change, right. and uh, trends Trends change, right. so they, they try to keep up. I think the other thing that, that's really uh, important is that you have a, a choice of, of participating as much or as little as you choose to. Yes. There's a great sense of community here. Some people don't take advantage of that at all, and they don't move. They stay here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other people, if, if there's not a club, or an activity that they're interested in, they form one. That's right. Yeah, well, That's right. Exactly. Lots, of, lots of member organized clubs. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, Kim. That was great. Appreciate your insights. If uh, you want to know more about what it's like living here, let us know. We'd love to share a local magazine with you called The Land Above and uh, put out by a couple of our neighbors. And uh, hopefully you can uh, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Calm down. I'm going to get dizzy watching this. <laughs>